Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the electrophilic addition reactions uh, on conjugated dienes, uh, specifically talking about thermodynamic versus kinetic control. So in the last video, I shared with you that the reaction of 1,3-butadiene with one equivalent of hydrogen bromide produced two different possible products because the intermediate carbocation has resonance. Uh, and so that carbocation actually exists on two carbon atoms, and I, and I also described a little bit about how the molecular orbital theory picture of that ion reinforced the resonance picture. But what it turns out is that for this reaction in these two products, uh, the temperature that the reaction has done can control which product is formed preferentially. At lower temperatures, the reaction favors the 1,2 adduct. 71% to 29%. And then the higher temperatures, the so lower temperatures, but I mean zero. So this isn't really all that cold in comparison. And then 40, which is going to add all that hot in comparison. So just a little bit above uh, human body temperature and freezing point of water. At 40 degrees Celsius, the reaction switches and uh, prefers the 1,4 adduct. So <clears throat> what's going on here? Here's an energy diagram that, that shows this process. Um, and on the vertical axis, we have energy, whether you think that's free energy or whatever energy. On the horizontal axis, we have reaction coordinates. That's process along bond forming and bond breaking. And both products start at the same place, 1,3-butadiene plus HBr. That undergoes a proton transfer to make the same allyl cation with bromide anion. It's just what happens next if the bromide anion attacks where that carbocation is shown in this picture, we end up with the 1,2 adduct. If it attacks the, the other resonance contributor at the other end of the chain, we have the 1,4 adduct. And you can see in the energy diagram that there's some differences. The 1,2 adduct has a lower activation energy, but its, end, or its energy change over the whole reaction is smaller and less negative. The the one four addition product has a higher activation energy, but a more negative uh, and or energy change per reaction. And that right here, this difference in activation energy and energy change in the reaction is what allows temperature to control the outcome of this reaction. So here we go. <clears throat> the one two adduct is less stable than the 1,4 adduct, right? The 1,4 adduct is lower in energy, but the 1,2 adduct forms faster. That lower activation energy corresponds to a faster reaction rate. Therefore, the 1,2 adduct is called the kinetic product. Under conditions that favor kinetic products, the 1,2 adduct is going to be the major product. Because the 1,4 adduct is more stable, it's called the thermodynamic product. There are some reactions out there, and you've probably studied many of them, and it's never been called attention to before, uh, where the thermodynamic product and the kinetic product are the same. Uh, and in that case, temperature doesn't matter, except that it may accelerate the rate. Uh, but in this case, the kinetic product and the thermodynamic product are different. The kinetic product is favored at low temperatures. The thermodynamic product is favored at high temperatures. And because temperature accelerates the rate, you might be intuitively thinking that it should be the other way around. So let's go back and look at that energy diagram. The temperature of the system is a measure of the average kinetic energy available to the system. And so at lower temperatures, there's less kinetic energy, which means there's less likelihood to get over a higher activation energy barrier than there is to get over a lower activation energy barrier. And that's the difference. At lower temperatures, you only have enough kinetic energy to get over the lower activation energy and not the higher activation energy. At high temperatures, you have enough energy to do whatever you want. And so the outcome of the reaction is product controlled. Uh, and so it goes for the more stable of the two possible products. All right. Here's an explanation for why the 
uh, one two adduct is the kinetic product forms faster, and the one four product is the thermodynamic product and forms slower, uh, but is more stable. So the mechanism of this reaction involves proton transfer to the diene system, creates the resonance stabilized allyl radical. And I've shown both resonance structures here, resonance contributors here. You'll notice that the bromide anion after the proton transfer hasn't probably traveled very far away. And so it is physically closer to the carbocation that leads to the one, two product because it is physically closer. That nucleophilic attack is faster. Uh, the bromide anion is much farther away than uh, when you have <clears throat> then, then the product going or the carbocation leading to the one four product attack is slower. And you can think about it this way. When you're cold, you move slower. And so in the same amount of time, you probably don't make it as far. When you have a lot of energy, you can move fast and you can travel far. Uh, the one four product is more stable because it's more substituted. Uh, when you're learning about the synthesis of alkenes by elimination reactions, you learn about the um, Zaitsev rule, which suggests that the more substituted alkene is formed preferentially because it's more stable. Same deal here. <clears throat> let's just do an example really quickly. Uh, so here is a diene, and let's first figure out what the products are and then identify which one predominates at zero and which one predominates at 40. First, uh, we'll draw the initial carbocation that forms, and then we'll draw its resonance structure. And then we'll put bromines at each spot. So here are the two products that form. Right? <clears throat> the first one has the, the bromine ending up at the carbocation where we initially drew it. So that's the 1, 2 adduct. The 1, 2 adduct is the kinetic product. It predominates at 0 degrees Celsius. The 1, 4 adduct is the thermodynamic product and predominates at 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. I'm going to leave you with a challenge, but I'm not going to give you an answer because there are lots of them out there. See if you can draw a diene where the 1, 2 adduct is actually the more stable product that could form. Uh, and so therefore the uh, kinetic product is the, is the thermodynamic product. It's out there. It's the exception, not the rule, but it's out there. See if you can figure it out. All right, this concludes my uh, short video series on uh, the reactions or the, the addition reactions of uh, conjugated dienes. Thank you for watching.